Hello folks, this is Glenn Guy, your travel photography guru. I'm really happy to be announcing the release of my new ebook, Photographing Cemeteries, Transience, Transformation and Transition. And I'd like to introduce you to the ebook now. The ebook itself is over 150 pages. It takes the form of a classic photographic coffee table book. So predominantly large, big images, then interspersed with uh, short chapters of text, uh, which feature essays, technical information, opinion pieces, etc. Here's a brief outline from the uh, table of contents. So there's the dedication, technical notes, which uh, photographers uh, will enjoy, no doubt. Preface, uh, basically what the project is about, what and why we photograph. That's one of the um, key essays in the ebook. Another essay on statues. Facing South, this introduces us to one of the locations I visited, uh, South Georgia Island, on the way to Antarctica. Journey into abstraction, art for art's sake, photographing peace and solitude. That one's more an approach to photography and fitting the approach to the location. Taking action to overcome fear, so that's, a, I suppose, a motivational piece there, but in my case was very relevant to photographing in the very early hours of the morning in a somewhat spooky cemetery in rural Iceland. Requiem, a uniquely Russian experience that was a lot of fun visiting a very famous cemetery in Russia where a lot of politicians, artists have been buried over the years. Photographing sacred places, the moment between events, what it is to be human, the ultimate bureaucrat, well that's certainly an opinion piece. And towards the end there, um, there's some information on me and what it is I do and why I do it. So it's quite a significant ebook, and uh, I really think uh, if you enjoy looking at great photographs, but also enjoy getting into ideas at a slightly deeper level, you'll enjoy this very much. So let's have a, a quick uh, look at some of the images. This one's made in the Melbourne Cemetery in the inner suburb of Carlton. Here's an example of uh, one of the chapters. Now, sometimes uh, there are entire pages of text, but to make the reading experience a little bit more enjoyable, I've broken it up wherever possible, blending text and images on the same page. Pierre Lachaise Cemetery in Paris, France, that was certainly a highlight of my travels and one of the great cemeteries that I've photographed thus far. Here we are in Moscow. And here we are in Kolkata and this is the tomb of Mother Teresa and that was a very inspiring place to visit. And you might be able to notice tiny flower petals have been used to create a cross on the right hand side of the tomb and also to spell out the words love seeks to serve. Here's a very picturesque spot, a rural cemetery in Iceland. Here we are on South Georgia Island. So often what I do in the book is that I start with one or more pictures of the city I'm visiting or the location I'm visiting, just to put you in a, the particular place and time, I suppose. In this case, we're in Buenos Aires in Argentina. So being a very large, crowded, cosmopolitan city with quite interesting history, I felt street photography was maybe more apt here. So once we're in the cemeteries, I've taken varying approaches depending on uh, the cemetery in question and how I responded to it. But often you'll find that I start with a relatively straightforward documentary approach, whether that be in colour or in black and white. Often just by moving in, you know, and changing my camera angle, I then start to make images that are maybe a little bit more emotive and dealing with really the human condition. From there I move into a more abstract approach as we can see here. So those three photos are all made in the same location. As is this one. So I think you'll agree that this is significantly more abstract than the, um, the, the other images I've just shown you. And uh, there's no hocus pocus, so uh, old timers <laughs> will appreciate the fact that there's no crazy Photoshop stuff going on here where I'm, you know, combining individual images into a, a single composite photo. That, that hasn't happened here at all. This, this is all achieved in camera. And I talk about the process of how that came about in the ebook. A short piece from one of the essays. This, this is a more technical one, uh, dealing with colour. And here's an example of um, a snippet uh, that is really an opinion piece. 
and this talks about um, terrorism in the world and how that affects photographers. You'll see this uh, is another example of a very abstract image. So it appears that the figure is framed in the stained glass window and kind of suspended in, in mid-air. Uh, that's not the case, but um, it's just the way the photo was made to give that impression. Again, all made in the camera. Here I am at a very famous cemetery in Salzburg, Austria, a really beautiful place. There are images in both colour and black and white from this location. And the South Park Street Cemetery in Kolkata, um, this was a lovely place. It's the final resting place of British uh, soldiers, uh, politicians and the like from the days of empire. And it's a very peaceful, evocative location, well suited to black and white. Moscow. Some of the figures are displayed in very heroic fashion, others uh, are not. So that's, that's a very interesting chapter as well. You'll really enjoy this ebook. It's very diverse in content, both uh, written and in images. Oh, there's me. Um, so that's a, a snippet from the last section of the ebook, which really talks about uh, who I am and my approach to photography, why I do what I do. Photographing Cemeteries, Transients, Transformation and Transition. At 154 pages, it's covering journeys to nine countries, six continents that I made. There are lots of colour and lots of black and white photos throughout. Essays on technique, opinion pieces, notions of beauty are discussed throughout the text, as are topics such as the human condition. It's all covered. It's very much a personal journey that's recorded through the photos, ranging from a documentary approach right through to abstraction. As far as progressing your own photography, you'll find the images inspiring, but also the explanations as to how I went about making that journey really interesting, really informative. So there's a link here at the bottom for more information. If you just click that link, you'll then be taken to a page which goes into more detail about the book and from there if you decide to purchase it you can. You can find me on social media, here's links to me on Google+, Facebook and Twitter. I'm Glenn Guy, your travel photography guru and thanks so much for listening to this presentation. I look forward to talking with you again soon. Bye for now.